YouTube is Blade Obsession back. How you doing, my Blade loving buddies? Uh, just want to show off this uh, new EDC I've been carrying. Uh, if you watched the video I did about five or six videos ago, I, I got the uh, had the off grid uh, Cayman XL. I really like that one. It's uh, it's a good knife. And uh, I got to looking around at some other off-grid knives, and I started liking this one. This is the uh, Stinger XL. Well, I didn't flip it hard enough, did I? Let me take it back. There it goes. <laughs> uh, I love that blade shape on this one. This one has a different blade still than the uh, Cayman. This one's 154CM, which I think is a a little bit better than the other one. The other one's 14C28N, which is still, they're both really, really stainless and they're both tough, but I don't know. I think 154 is probably a better steel, but here, let me. A little bit of pocket dust on that one. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I love this blade shape, kind of a spear point. And they're both four inches long. Uh, and I like the desert tan handle on this one. I guess it's reversible. Uh, it's tip up, which is, I guess, okay, but it does make it a little slower to deploy because uh, you got it in your pocket. And uh, it's like this when you pull it out, you got to slide it up in your hand to get to the flipper tab. But uh, it flips out with, you know, a lot of force. I like it. It's pretty sharp. Uh, it's got a nice jimping right there for holding it up close like this. But yeah, I just, I like the gray DLC and it's a big blade too. And uh, extreme deep pocket carry clip. That's one thing I like about it. So I'll put a put a flip phone by it so you can see kind of how big it is <laughs> there you kind of get a picture it's a good size now I got plenty of handle left to hold this one and then that flipper tag gives you a, a nice little guard so you don't slip up on that blade yeah it looks like a double-edged knife but it's really not this is like a, basically a false edge or swedge or whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, it came real sharp. I can't display or I can't do a test on it right now because I'm holding the phone. But uh, it, it did come really sharp and it should hold an edge for a pretty good while being 154 cm. But yeah, it's a good knife. Uh, and it's on uh, bearings, I believe. That's why it's probably why it's so smooth but the only thing I really don't like about it is the weight because back up so you can see it all I think it comes in around 6.5 or 6.7 ounces so it's a little heavy but overall and there's the logo if it's going to focus Up there it says 154 cm Crucible steel. Uh, I don't know if I ever mentioned in my other videos, but my second, only other knife I had in Crucible steel was a Spider Co. I had. It was like my second tactical folder I ever bought. Uh, it was a Spider Co. Military, and I ended up having that one stolen from me. I think before that I had a Delica. With the stainless handle and uh, spider edge on it. I like spider coach too, but yeah, this knife here is big and beefy though, and it's just solid as a rock. But as long as you can deal with that weight, I mean, that's the main problem with it. Uh, they did actually skeletonize the liners a little bit, they have lightning holes in there. Holes in the, I think one side anyway, but if I could have done it with both sides and got it down about five, 
a five and a half even I would have loved it but yeah anyway I just wanted to show you that that's what I've been carrying for about a week now and other than the weight I love it so if you like the blade shape and you don't mind a little extra weight you know you can check out off grid I think this one came in around 107 on Amazon and if you like the Cayman XL better, I th think it's more around the $67 range because it's 14C, 28N. So. But yeah, I think I'm, I don't think I'm going to buy any more of these uh, off-grid XLs because they're kind of heavy. But, but it's a good knife and it's solid. And it's, I mean, it's lock up solid as it can get. And it would be a great self-defense blade. And like I said, I'm I'm a security officer, so I kind of need a little, every little edge I can get, you know, but everybody does nowadays. I think it's a dangerous world we're living in. But yeah, that's it for this little video, and I hope you like it, and uh, if you want to see the Cayman XL, like I said, go back and check out my other videos. I think it was like four or five videos ago, maybe six, I don't remember exactly. But anyway, God bless y'all. Hope you have a good Father's Day, everybody. Bless all the fathers. <laughs> and uh, hope you get some good stuff from your kids. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you later on the next one. Have a good night or day. Uh, I'm out. <laughs>